Hello everybody, this is Plymouth for Google Streamer. And I want to talk about Streamlabs CloudBot. Now, Streamlabs CloudBot is a much more streamlined version of Streamlabs ChatBot that's built into Streamlabs OBS. So it gives you less CPU usage, less apps running in the background, and it's more streamlined and easier to use for most people. The only thing it really doesn't do for you that ChatBot gives is custom scripting. Pretty much everything else is there and you know it'll meet most people's needs so let's go ahead and get to the ui and i'll show you what each of the modules uh do that's there and uh you'll see just how easy it is to set up so let's go ahead and get into it okay so the first thing that we need to do with streamlabs OBS is to connect the cloud bot to your account so it's very easy to do so the first thing you need to do is of course log in to your account i'm already logged into my twitch and then when you do that and you go to CloudBot, you click on CloudBot, and you enable CloudBot by selecting the slider here and making sure it's green and to the right right there when you do that go to your chat and you can get to your chat by click on a little arrow and opening your chat up here and go and make sure that Streamlabs is listed as a user in your stream, okay? And then what you will do is you will make Streamlabs a moderator simply by going and typing forward slash mod, if I could type, mod Streamlabs. And I'm going to get a message saying it's already a moderator, but that is what you do. You just type that and it'll make Streamlabs a moderator. And then your cloud bot is connected to your uh, account and you're ready to roll. All right, so let's run through a basic overview of the CloudBot. Uh, a lot of the features here are already included in ChatBot and more than likely you're familiar with them already. Uh, but the what I like about CloudBot is it's a little bit more straightforward. It's a little easier to understand, better laid out for people to set up their uh, different modules. So the first module we're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk about chat alerts. You know, chat, alert, chat alerts are things uh, like followers, as you can see. Um, I have set up a follow alert in chat. Um, this is the thing that chat alerts will do for you. Uh, so you can go to preferences and you can see which uh, chat alerts you can select to have displayed in your chat. And uh, you can actually click on them and kind of see what the setup is for the, how it's going to display. Uh, pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy to understand. Uh, second is media share. Now, media share is something uh, it's fairly new to Streamlabs. It's something that I don't necessarily recommend unless you have very active moderators. If you're a smaller streamer, you don't have moderators all the time. I'd recommend you not running this. Uh, media share is something that you could set up separate as a widget, and uh, your viewers can then uh, donate money to show media on your stream. Okay, and sometimes if you don't, uh, you know, maintain control of it then they can show something you might not want and something that can violate the TOS for your streaming service. So just be very aware of that if you're running this. But you can run this and enable it and set up preferences, including queue times, max duration, max number of requests, and votes uh, to skip it if people don't like it. Uh, I do not use it. Uh, secondly is Heist and Gamble. Both of those are familiar games that have been in uh, Streamlabs. Uh, for a while now, now they are inside Cloud, uh, CloudBot, and you could set them up with, of course, how much it's going to cost, the maximum amount people can uh, gamble, the delay and cooldown for the game, um, and then you could set the uh, chances to win and payout, which is pretty simple to do. Uh, same thing for gamble, uh, same basic setup. Loyalty here is just another word for currency, by the way, if you don't know that, and uh, then you can set multipliers for gamble if you want to do that. Both of those I run in my chat. So if they want to play and they can gamble their loyalty points and they can. All right, so the second is commands. And this is probably one of the ones that most people are going to want to know about. So you got custom man commands, you got default commands, and then of course you got variables. Uh, default commands is really nice because it gives you a full list of what uh, people can show inside of chat. 
And on top of that, you can go and edit them yourself by clicking on the little pencil here, and then you can go in and change it, uh, which is really nice. It's also nice if you want to try to set up a custom command, you can kind of see how the command is set up, and then you can go in and customize it. So say, for instance, you want to pay some pay a group off or pay a particular person a certain amount of loyalty points, you can go in there and set up a custom command based on uh, the loyalty points. And you can kind of see here, uh, the code that they use and, uh, you know, and then you could change that. Like, so it's pretty easy to do. Uh, and it's nice that they give you this list here. Uh, custom commands is exactly that. You can make your own commands again. Like I was just saying, you can make a uh, custom command to give some, a particular person loyalty points, or you can list a command list like I've done here or a donate link. If you want somebody that wants to donate and they could type it in, that's just a couple options. Uh, the options are honestly endless. Okay. So the next thing we have is timers and timers are messages in your chat that you want to periodically appear automatically. And so I've got three here, one for YouTube, one for Twitter and one for Twitch prime that shows up at random intervals that you can manually choose the interval and the uh, amount of lines that it'll use minimum for this. So it's pretty nice and pretty easy to set up. And of course you can delete it if you want, or you can, disable it if you don't want it showing up uh, a good a good uh, example of something that you don't want to necessarily show all the time is say if you're a, a regular extra live streamer okay and they're running their campaign um, so if you don't want that showing 365 days a year then you can turn it on and off but you don't have to delete it so that when you start up your next campaign you could just re-enable it without having to rewrite it which is nice Okay, mod tools. Uh, mod tools are pretty self-explanatory. You can see the modules that we have here, um, and basically you turn those on, and you can set the uh, kind of the level of uh, moderation that you want it to do. You can uh, whitelist certain portions of your viewers or regulars and subscribers, for instance, and then on punishment, you can depending on what it is, you can set uh, what kind of punishment they get. Uh, and of course, you can see here you can set uh, the moder the moderator module to you know detect exactly what you want to delete, which is pretty nice. Um, same thing for symbol protection, link protection, word protection. They're all just basically the same thing that you could set whitelist. You could set uh, current you know certain words. You could set you know what the band level will be or the punishment level will be. Uh, pretty nice, pretty nice, and easy to set up again. Uh, quotes quotes is simply that if you want a quote to show up in your stream uh, you can type a command for that you can add this quote you set set the quote up and it'll show up in your chat pretty self-explanatory i personally i don't use it and then q um if you have people that want to queue up for games something like that you can use the queue for that which is pretty nice uh but this is what a lot of people are going to be interested in okay so uh, this is the loyalty database you can click here to go to loyalty settings and you can set your loyalty name um, in case here it's points which i think is the default you can change it to you know if i wanted to do it i would do like frugal bucks or something like that um you can set the interval that the money is paid out based on the view time um you know and you can set if they're active you can actually set so that they get additional money if they're active in chat uh, if they're just lurking you know that would be the live but if they're active in chat you can actually set additional which actually gives your active viewers a bigger bonus which is nice um, and then of course here you can set uh, loyalty points based on uh, if somebody hosts you subs you follows or if they donate you can set that which is pretty nice and also you can see here you can import your commands and your uh loyalty points from different other bots including the Streamlabs chatbot and stream elements which is nice and then of course you want to run a poll you can run a poll um, in your chat i personally don't do that but i guess i could possibly do it in future um, but you know it's pretty simple to set up you can title it you can add an option you know and uh, set the set what they can vote on and then the, your you know viewers can then vote on that and then, of course, user management here is if you have uh, people that you have that are normal uh, viewers, you can set them and add them as a regular, which gives them, you know, extra bonus points if you set your loyalty up properly and gives them, you know, some leniency in certain modules for moderation. So, but that's really it. It's super, super easy, super easy to understand. And I think a lot of people will 
like this a lot, a little bit more than just normal uh, Streamlabs chatbot. Now, the Streamlabs chatbot, of course, gives you scripting that is not available in CloudBot, at least as of yet. But I think, generally speaking, most users are probably going to want to use CloudBot instead because it's just a little bit more easier to understand. And, uh, you know, a lot of things are given to you straight off and it's simple to set up. And you don't have to make, and another bonus with the CloudBot is you don't have to make a separate bot account like you do with, with uh, Streamlabs Chatbot. Here, Streamlabs comes in, you just make Streamlabs a moderator, and now it's working for your stream. So it's that simple to set up. So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Listen, if you enjoy the content here, please hit the subscribe and the notification so you'll know when I go live for the live stream or you know when a video goes live. I would love to see you come back. I enjoy uh, all the comments, so please comment on the video. Um, let me know if you liked it or if you disliked it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'll be, I'm free, you know, more than willing to answer and uh, try to help you out with getting this set up. Um, it, like I said, it's pretty easy to do. But there are people that have questions with it and have issues with it. So, you know, that's what I'm here for. So hit me up if you got any questions. But uh, otherwise, I do appreciate you watching the video. Just keep checking out everything coming out. I got a couple things lined up, a couple microphones that are coming my way. Um, that'll be kind of uh, entry-level microphones for different situations that I think uh, you might be uh, wanting to look for if you're starting up a live stream. Um, and I'm also doing a review on my new microphone. So I will be uh, getting that put together here in about a week or so, I think. So I have a little bit of time to play with it as I've all just recently gotten an audio interface to hook into it to use the XLR function of it. But anyway, so I'll have that out. Um, but, you know, this weekend I will be graduating from college. My commencement is Saturday. So anyway, I will be walking. So hopefully you'll see me as the vice president of the United States is our commencement speaker. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your week. Be safe out there, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.